what's the right way to treat and model um, uh, cost effectiveness analysis for vaccine that treats a relatively rare contagious disease. Here's the way I would suggest do it. Uh, so you, you basically want to define scenarios depending on the extent of penetration of the vaccine. And I suppose the vaccine is 100% or close to 100% effective for people who get it. You want the baseline. So how many people get this disease with no vaccine? Uh, and if you want to convert that to some outcome, other outcome measure like uh, mortality or quality adjusted life years, you can. And what are our current medical costs? And if you want to be fancy about it, although verging on um, uh, fairy tales, you can also try to value lost productivity and things like that. Put all that in. Then, essentially, you run a set of scenarios for different levels of penetration by the vaccine where you would calculate at each point uh, now what is the number of cases that are uh, occurring and what are the net costs. The net costs are the cost of vaccinating, say, up to 50 percent of the population, minus the cost saved because at least some of those people now won't get the disease who would have gotten the disease. And you basically can think if you have unlimited time, and I guess I do these days, I have tenure, you do that for uh, sort of every percentile of penetration. And you basically um, try to find the uh, level of uh, vaccination of the population that's the most, ef uh, most efficient, which is the level at which the point, of, uh, the point at which the marginal benefit from vaccinating one more person equals the marginal cost of vaccinating one more person. Uh, moments thought will tell you that's not 100%, because if you're the last person in the world without a smallpox vaccination, but everybody else does, you've got nobody to catch it from, so there's no benefit from vaccinating you. Um, and usually the level of herd immunity that's targeted as close to optimal is like 85 to 90 percent. So, uh, and then having figured out what the optimal schedule is, say it's 85 percent, you calculate relative to doing nothing. Uh, you're trying to evaluate this new program that's going to evaluate, uh, vaccinate 85 percent of the at-risk population. Uh, how much did you reduce uh, either the incidence of the disease or deaths or whatever? What was the net cost? Divide the one by the other. You get your cost effectiveness ratio. As David mentioned, what do you do then is tricky business. You can, of course, consult the sages at Harvard who will tell you the magic number is 100,000 dollars per quality adjusted life year. I believe that's way too low. I think it's by a factor of two or so, but some number, um, it's dirty work, but somebody has to do it. You pick that number, and if your program uh, has a cost per quality uh, below that threshold, you say go ahead with it for routine vaccination, and if it has a cost above that, you say don't. It's not a good use of money.